All right, in this video, we're going to find the equation of the line that goes through the point negative six comma 10, and this line is also perpendicular to y equals two thirds x minus four. So this is going to be pretty similar to the case where the lines are parallel, but there's just one extra step. So how do we do this? Well, in general, just like always, when we want to find the equation of a line, we have to have the slope of the line and any point on the line. Now notice we're given right away a point on the line. So we're told that the line we want goes through the point negative six comma 10. So let's go ahead and make a note of that off to the side. Negative six comma 10 is a point on the line we want, that's great. Now we just have to find the slope of the line we want. We'll call it M. So what is M? Well, we're told that the line we want is perpendicular to this line y equals two thirds x minus four. And the key thing to remember for problems like this is that if two lines are perpendicular to each other, then their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Okay, so what does that mean for slopes to be, or to, for two numbers in general to be negative reciprocals of each other? Well, first of all, let's see, what is the slope of this line? Well, notice the equation is already in slope intercept form. So this here is the slope. Okay, two thirds is the slope of the given line. And the line we want is perpendicular to this given line. So the line we want is gonna have a slope that's a negative reciprocal of two thirds. So what's the negative reciprocal of two thirds? Well, two thirds, what's the reciprocal of two thirds? Three halves. And then negative is just gonna be negative three halves. Okay, so negative reciprocal means make it negative and then take the reciprocal. Well, what if two thirds was already negative? Then the negative reciprocal would actually be positive three halves, okay? But here, the slope of this given line is positive two thirds, so the negative reciprocal is negative three halves, okay? So just as a side note, just wanted to mention this down here as a side note, so let's get rid of that. All right, now continuing with the problem, now we're in good shape because we have the slope of the line we want, it's negative three halves, okay? Two thirds is the slope of the given line, and then the negative reciprocal, negative three halves, is the slope of the line we want. Now notice another way of talking about the slopes of perpendicular lines is that if you have two perpendicular lines and you multiply their slopes together, you get negative one. And notice that two thirds times negative three halves is indeed negative one. So that's just a quick way of verifying that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of that and continue, actually we can leave that and we'll continue with the problem. So now we have a point on the line and we have the slope of the line we want. So how do we find the equation from that? Well, we're gonna use the point slope formula or the point slope form equation of a line. So that's y minus y zero equals m times the quantity x minus x zero. So what are all these? Well, m is the slope, negative three halves. What's x zero and y zero? Well, for the point slope form equation of a line, x zero comma y zero is any point on that line, okay? Doesn't even have to be negative six comma 10. It could be any point on the line, but negative six comma 10 is what we were given. It's the only thing we have to work with for the point on the line. So x zero comma y zero is negative six comma 10, or in other words, x zero is negative six, y zero is 10. So now we just take these values that we know and plug them into this equation here. And we're gonna get y minus 10, y zero is 10, equals m, which we know is negative three halves, times the quantity x minus x zero, and x zero, remember, is negative six. So this is x minus negative six. Minus negative six means plus six. So we'll just do that right now. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put this equation in slope intercept form. So we'll simplify this a little bit. So y minus 10 equals, if we distribute the negative three halves, we get negative three halves x, and then negative three halves times a positive six, what's that? Negative three halves times positive six is gonna be, well, two goes into six three times, negative three times three is negative nine. So this becomes minus nine. Now one last step, add 10 to both sides, and we get y equals negative three halves x, and then minus nine plus 10 gives us plus one. And that's the solution. So y equals negative three halves x plus one is the equation of the line that goes through the point negative six comma 10 and is perpendicular to y equals two thirds x minus four. And we can verify all that by plugging in negative six for x. And then we can double check and see, do we actually get 10 back for y? And yeah, we do. Negative three halves times negative six is actually gonna give us positive nine. Positive nine plus one is 10. And notice that the slope of this line is negative three halves. The slope of the given line is two thirds. They're negative reciprocals of each other. So this line, we verified that this works out. This is the correct answer here. And that is how we find the equation of a line that goes through a given point and is perpendicular to another given line.